Okay, we're gonna replace this uh, gear oil cooler here. Got the new ones in. You can see they have zincs on the top. Also has a drain on the back side and a ground. So stock ones won't have zincs or a ground. See here, I pre-connected the hoses on both sides. I'm gonna try sliding this straight tube on and then we'll be able to lower this 90 degree here. Both those hoses are on. Now we'll be able to mount the cooler back on. Before I put the hose fittings back in, I'm going to fill up the cooler with transmission fluid so I don't have to add as much later. have some transmission fluid in there just to the bottom of the threads. I'm going to put these hose fittings back in, a little bit of uh, pipe thread sealant on the threads. Okay, so we got the hose fittings on. We got all the hose clamps put on. Now we're ready to reattach the hoses. All right, now that we got our gear oil cooler reinstalled, hoses back on, all the hose clamps are tightened up snug. We're ready to turn the raw water valves back on. Once we start the engine with the transmissions in neutral, we'll come down here on the back side of our transmission over here. Uh, there's the dipstick and we'll check it and we'll fill it fill it back up as it pumps uh, fluid up into those new coolers. So that's how I was able to change the gear oil coolers on this 2001 Bayliner. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, comments, how I should uh, do it next time, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.